Hi, it's Chip with Oru Kayak. Uh, today we're going to be talking about directional strokes. I'm going to go over four of them today. There's others, but uh, I think those are the four that you're probably going to use most of the time. Um, so your sweep stroke, your draw stroke, stern rudder, side slip. So I'm going to go over those all individually. So the first one, the sweep stroke, we want to have a horizontal shaft. We want to reach out, want to keep our body in this paddler's box. Paddler's box we talk about in uh, the paddlers in the paddle explanation uh, video. So go ahead and check that out if you haven't already. But we're going to take this left blade and we're going to set it in the water and we're going to bring it out and around. What I'm looking for here is a large arc. The paddle is going to go out in a while. It's going to go close to the boat, out three or four feet from the boat, and then back close to the boat again. And that is going to create an arc. That arc is called the usable arc. And that usable arc is going to put forth a force on our boat that's going to turn the bow in the direction that we want it to go. So forward sweep stroke would be forward to the back of the boat. Reverse sweep stroke is starting at the back of the boat using that usable arc and then going all the way to the front. If you put those two together, sometimes it's called a pinwheel, but that's going to be the best way to move your boat in a circular motion. Once you have it orientated where you want to go, you're going to use your forward stroke to get there. Um, so some of the ways we find that the stroke goes wrong is having the blade too close to the side of the boat. If you're using an arc right here, but it's so close to the side of the boat, you'll tend to move the boat more forward and less in a rotation. So you want to extend that blade out three or four feet from the boat. If you really want to turn the boat quickly, you can even extend your paddle even further. The extended paddle I would be grabbing here on the outside of the blade. I'm grabbing the paddle shaft here and you see how much more effective that is for moving the bow of the boat. Once I get orientated where I want to go, I'm going to use my forward stroke to go ahead and get there. So in the event that I wanted to go and take my boat laterally, um, maybe there's a, a friend that's in need, maybe I'm in need, you want to get together as far as boats and to go laterally is important. You can have what's called a sculling draw. Sculling is any motion where you keep the blade kind of moving through the water this way. The best way to use a sculling draw is to have whichever hand the paddle blade is on, that's your control hand, and so that's going to move, and this upper hand is just going to be nice and soft. Wherever you put that blade is where the boat's going to go. So if I'm coming with it right by my seat there, I'm going to move directionally sideways. Nice and light. If you edge the boat, as in sitting on my right cheek, that's going to allow some of the water to go underneath the boat, and that's going to allow me to go more horizontal. If you do not want to go directly sideways, maybe you want to go on a diagonal line, meaning it's not want to go just dead sideways, I might want to go on an angle, then you do that sculling draw on a diagonal in front about where my knees are. And now my boat's going on a diagonal. Same can be done if you go behind. There's two other methods for a draw stroke if you want to go laterally reaching out, grabbing water, pulling it underneath the boat. When you get to about seven, eight inches from the side of the boat, you're gonna lift the blade up, move it forward, bring the blade underneath, bring the water underneath, and then reach it out again. So this variety 
I'm edging the boat away from where I'm going. It's bringing water underneath and it's bringing the boat sideways. Be careful when you get close to the side of the boat. See, as I'm getting here, it's about seven, eight inches. Seven, eight inches here. You want to leave it that and then pick up and bring it back in. Another variety of that is to feather the blade once you get to here, slice the blade back through. That way the, the blade can stay in the water the entire time. I'll show you what that looks like from the side. Slicing it back through, coming in. Slicing it back through, coming in. Slicing it back in, coming in. Sometimes people like to think about that as like a spoon and a knife, if that's an analogy that helps for you. You're spooning in and then knifing back out. So spooning in, knifing back out, spooning in, knifing back out. And that's going to be a directional stroke that you're going to use to go laterally. <clears throat> Next two strokes I'm going to throw at you are going to be ones where you're moving, the momentum is going forward. Your forward momentum is going to allow you to move the bow of the boat in the direction you want to go. So the first one I'm going to show you is going to be the stern draw. The stern draw, I'm paddling, I get some forward momentum. I'm going to take and turn my paddler's box, drop the blade in the water, and my bow is going to go in direction, same side as my blade. Just nice and easy, it's going to make the bow go to the direction I want, and then I'm going to go ahead and continue on with the forward stroke to get there. Show you what that looks like going the opposite direction. I get some forward momentum. I turn my paddler's box, slide it into the water, and boom. My bow slides over to the left, and then I use the forward stroke to go where I'm going. There may be a time where you're paddling and you want to use a draw stroke to go laterally while you're going forward. So you're going to be sort of going on a diagonal. With that stroke, I'm going to gain some momentum and I'm going to feather my blade and if I put it in by my seat it's going to take my boat and it's going to move it laterally. As I start to lose momentum it's going to slow down how much I'm moving over. So you need to have some forward momentum built up and then you use that stroke to move laterally. So I get some forward motion I'm going to slide the blade in. Where the blade is in relation to my seat is going to be if it turns the bow of the boat hard in a carve or it brings it to the side. If you want a side slip, it's going to be more in this orientation here. If you want to really turn the bow of the boat, that would be a bow draw and that would actually bend the, the bow towards the, whichever side you're using that draw stroke. So if I gain some more forward momentum and I set it in sideways here, that's going to pull me laterally. I put it in here and then I want to move a little bit more left and I slide that forward. Now I'm going to actually affect my bow in the direction that I want to go. So those two can be blended together and they can be used to directionally carve your boat or to side slip your boat. So guys, I hope that's helpful. Those are four ways to directionally move uh, the bow of your boat to get you in the direction that you want to go. If you're interested in more educational videos, you can go ahead and check out orukayak.com. And I look forward to seeing you out there on the water.